All right, well, I've been hearing from people that today's Cordal was difficult, and I've also heard from a few people recently that I should do another Dordal, Cordal, Octordal all in one video because I haven't done one of those for a little while. And so I'm gonna do that today. All right, and real quick before we get to that, I wanna mention that I just posted a new video over on my other channel all about uh, the songs that didn't quite make it to the top of the Billboard chart. And you might be surprised about some of them. Some of them might not surprise you, uh, but uh, go check that out. Link in the description, up above in the corner, all the usual places. And now on to the Dordle. So um, we're gonna start with train and cough on the Dordle like we usually do. Okay. And didn't get much, so we want to reuse the C, the I, the N, S, L, and E are good letters to do. Um, I would do since, but that doesn't really help us with the C, because the C can't be there on the right, and there is no C on the left. Uh, we could do Nix. That's pretty good. That's uh, It doesn't let us check the E or the L, and the K isn't great, but... I, I want to prioritize finding the letters we already know are in there, as opposed to looking for new letters. That's kind of my my theory there. So, um, let's go for that. Okay. Well, we didn't find the C, but at least we eliminated another- Oh, there's a K! Oh, wow. Okay, so I-N-K-S. So it could be... Lynx? It could be, um... Could be Winx. Could be... Finks? I think a fink is a thing. Yeah. So there's a few things that could be there. I think lynx and winks are the best one. Ooh, pinks is also possible. And on the other side, I mean, it could end in IC, but I feel like the C is going to be second. Interestingly, we... Oh, we've got the E as a possibility still. Right, right. I was going to say we don't have... Uh, the only vowel we have is I, but we actually have an E still. But without a... Without an S, if the C is second, I think it's got to be a vowel at the beginning. It could be another I. Otherwise, E, C? I don't know. I mean, could it be I, C at the end? It, it certainly could be. E something, I, C. Uh, oh, medic would work. Medic would work. Um, ooh, I think Minx is actually a possible over here. Uh, hmm. So maybe we should do Medic. Is Dinx a word too? Dinx actually might be a word. Yeah, Dinx is a word. Let's see, is Minx a word? Yep. Okay, so let's do Medic, which I think has a chance over here. If nothing else, it'll check for an E and another spot for the C. We'll have located the C at that point and it'll eliminate two possibilities on the left. Okay, it is Medic, and it did eliminate two possibilities. I was actually kind of hoping to get a yellow on M or D, because then we'd have it, but at least it eliminated some. So I think it's Winx, Lynx, Finks, or Pinks. I think Winx is the most likely. All right, so we're gonna do Awful, which will check for W, F, and L. Um, and then if it's not one of those, then I think it's gotta be P. So hopefully this isn't an awful guess. Okay, so it's Lynx. There we go, Lynx and Medic, all right. So we're gonna move on to the Cordal and we're gonna start with Lynx and Medic. All right, so here we go, Lynx and Medic. Ooh, well, I mean, look at this. This is this is great, M-I-N something E. It can't be Mince. Uh, well, the E could be fourth, I suppose, but I think it's probably at the end. Minge? Minge, yeah. Otherwise, if the E was here, oh, it could be, it could be, uh, um, it could be mind or it could be minor. It can't be mind or minds, but it could be minor. Okay, so minor or minge is what I'm thinking there. And I believe a minge is a, a small insect. Um, I'm actually not sure. Uh, I just know it's come up in a puzzle before. Um, now, this here with the E, I, I'm thinking EI would be good. EIS something, but. Hmm, unless the I is at the end, because it's not going to be IE at the beginning, I don't think. But if it's EI, then the S would have to be next, or it would have to start with SEI. Seeing, no, there's no N. Hmm. 
I don't know. Uh, we do have uh, two puzzles with the yellow S. I was thinking, do something S T I. What though? You can't. You don't want to do sting because there's no N in any of them but this one. And I don't want to do stick. There's no C K. I could do stir, but it'd have to be stirs, which is repeating the S. I like stir otherwise. Oh, we could we could do we could do um stare or store because it would be good to check for a couple other vowels. Uh, we do have the E's in these two, but uh, I want to try the E at the end uh, for this word down here. So let's do do I do stare or store? I don't know, let's do stare. I often do store, so let's switch it up and do stare. Okay. Well, there's only one A. Okay, this is not this is this is minor. Minor. Okay, good. And this one. Oh, this has two E's. So does this one. Oh, S E I. Oh, it's Siege. No. That's S I E. S E I Siv. No. Those are all S. Those, most words have S-I-E. What's gonna have S-E-I? C's? C's, ooh. That's interesting. Interesting, so, uh, I'm not sure why that one is E-I and the others are I-E other than because English is weird sometimes. Obviously, it's probably because they're both loan words and we got them from different languages and the different languages do it differently. So I think it's gotta be C's though. I don't know what else is gonna be E-I instead of I-E. C's, okay. Not surprisingly, we didn't get a Z on the other words. Um, so down here we've got T and A. Up here we've got the double E and the S has to be third or fourth. Uh, like this, or it could be, it could be both actually, but. Ooh, we could have another, another E and do geese. Which would be really interesting. We had a triple E. Don't know that I'm ready to guess that yet, but that would be interesting. All right, down here we've got, mm, it's not E-A, so maybe E-T-A, something like that. Something like, oh, there's no L. I was gonna say, you know, pedal or metal or something. What would come after the A? I don't like that. So maybe A T. Begat. Begat would work. We just had beget the other day. Um, begat's pretty good. It also checks the G up here for geese as a possibility. And in a new spot for the A and the T. We haven't done B or G yet, so let's go with begat. Oh, it was begat, all right. And it's geese, it's geese. Wow. Okay, yeah, those are, those are interesting. C's and geese and begat, yeah. Okay, well, uh, now we're gonna move on to the octortal and we're gonna start with geese, C's, begat, and minor. All right, so on to the octortal. We're gonna start with geese, C's, begat, and minor. Geese, now the nice thing about geese, ooh, that wasn't very good <laughs> at all. But I was gonna say it'll let us check if there's two E's in any of the words, which there's not. Um, of course, C's would have also done that. So this is gonna be a really bad start for the octortal. Uh, begat and minor, okay. We'll just gotta, we gotta go with what, okay, well, actually, Maybe not so bad. It's terrible over here, but this we've got three letters. We've got four of the letters here. It's M something I S T. What? Moist. Moist. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone's least favorite word. Uh, I think it's gonna be moist. Yep. This one we've got S S something E A R. S steer. No. Swear, it could be swear, it could be spear. It could be sheer. Okay, so there's a few possibilities there. This is just S-O and it has a T. This is... That's something I... C. 
something T. It could be uh, stilt. It could be spilt. It could be. I like I L T. Uh, it could be shift. Okay, so a few possibilities there as well. Hmm. Well, it was looking good, but there's a lot of possibilities on some of these. This one is all we've got is oh, uh, so it's something I S E R. So, oh, it could be it could be riser with another R. Uh, I think that's pretty good. I'm not sure what else it could be actually. Oh, it could be wiser as well. Okay, so I've got a couple of them that could have W's. We've got swear as a possibility. We've got wiser as a possibility. Um, all we've got on this one is the O. We haven't checked a U yet. This one has an O and an I, but not in that order. This could be, this could be onion. I'm sure there's some other things it could be, but it could be onion. Um, I actually don't don't hate that because, uh, you know, we've got three words with a yellow O, and this checks two new spots for all three of those words. And it is a possibility there. And two new spots for the N on that word as well. Hmm. It's not great otherwise. Problem with that is... So we've got eight guesses left and seven words to get. So we only have one more guess that's not an answer. And while this could be the answer on that one, if it's not, then we have to get them all right the rest of the way through. And I've got a couple words over here that I'm, I'm not... I've got a few options on. Now this first word has got an I, an A, and an O, which is interesting. Um... Probably not O-I, it could be A-I, something like this. I don't really like I-O either, I-A, piano, no, there's no N. Uh, something like that though would be good. Ooh, ooh, actually, actually, I-O does work, because it could be viola, ooh, viola, if I can spell correctly. Viola's really good there. Oh, but so is, uh... Aeoli. Ah. Uh, yeah. They both work. There's way too many words that have uh, more, more than one possibility here. Okay, so, I mean, I'm thinking W or R for here, for wiser or riser. The R is only going to help us if we check it at the beginning, because we're going to get a yellow R for sure, because it has the R at the end. So unless we check R at the beginning, it's not going to help us to do R versus W. So we only need to check an R at the beginning or a W somewhere for that one. This one, I'm thinking possibly stilt if there's a second T. Again, you'd have to check the T there, because you're going to get a yellow T if you check somewhere else. So there's a few that are ILT. There's shift as well. Stilt and spilt and shift. Maybe something else. Uh, over here, I'm thinking swear, shear, or spear. So we've got a couple with possible H's, a couple with possible P's, a couple with possible W's. We could do whelp, which would check for the W, the H, the L, and the P. I think, I think that's pretty good. I don't know. I'd like to do onion over here. I, I feel like it could be onion. I'm just afraid that if it's not, then I've wasted my one guess to check some other letters. So, um, and maybe one of these letters will show up in these other words and it'll help us. I don't know. Let's go with that. Let's go with whelp. Okay, so this is spilt. This, ooh, this has a... H. Oh, so S O. Ah, it could be soothe. That's pretty good there. I'm gonna come back to that one though. This is 
This is swear. We've got the yellow W. Okay. Swear. Uh, this could still be onion, I think. We've got an L here, an L here. Okay, so... Oh, but that doesn't help us, does it? Because Ioli and Viola are, are both with the L there. Okay, but at least it confirms that it's probably one of those two. Uh... Okay, we didn't get the W, so it's not Wiser, so I think it has to be Riser, because it can't be Miser, there's no M. I think it's gotta be Riser, with another R. Okay, it was Riser, good. Um... This has a... T so this is S-O, it's gotta be T-H, right? So we could do T-H like that, but then what's gonna come at the end? I think it's gotta be Soothe. Uh, oh, it could be South. We haven't checked a U yet. <sighs> this is the problem with starting with the chordal words, is geese and seas did almost nothing for us. Begat and minor weren't too bad, right? But geese and seas, I mean the I and seas, and it does have an S, but... <sighs> Okay, well, we've got four guesses left and four words. This is Soothe or South. I'm thinking Onion here. Uh, Viola or Ioli. Mmm, Onion could also be Union. We needed a U. We needed to guess a U somewhere. We should have guessed uh, a U in, in the Welp word. We couldn't do a U with all those, but we could have done like... Uh, Wump, I think, W-H-U-M-P, yeah, that would have been a better guess. I was thinking the L was nice, but we didn't really need the L, because once we had the P here, we would have had the L anyways, like, we would have known there was the L. Now, the L, the L does help a little bit over here, but we're gonna get the L, we, you know, we were gonna get the L in the fourth spot here anyway, yeah. That's unfortunate. Wump would have been better. We would have checked the U. Because now I don't know whether it's... Now I'm kind of thinking South is probably better than Soothe. Um, but is it? I don't know. And Union might be better than Onion, but... I don't know. I wish I could figure out what this word is. If maybe, maybe if I could figure out this word, maybe it would help us with the others? I don't know got a bunch of 50-50s here. Um, seems unlikely that I'm gonna win all of them. But, what's this word here? All we've got is the O and the L. But, we've also eliminated a lot of letters already. So, let's think about this. Are there any two letter, uh, two consonant starts we could do? I mean, we could do... I mean, we could do CL. Something like clock would work. You could also have a double O, like... Flood. Hmm. Now... The double O would help us... On onion and soothe. And, and, okay, so, here's what I'm thinking. This one could be clock, or flood. Those are the two I'm thinking of. Um, I'm thinking about guessing flood. Now, it could be clock or flood. Either one is possible. But, the reason I'm thinking about guessing flood is because it will disambiguate all the other three. So, it could be right or wrong, but it will give us the other three. 50-50s, because this is either Soothe or South, I think, and the double O would tell us if there's two O's, right? Um, even though it's not the right spot, it's second and third, it would tell us if there is a double O. Uh, onion, likewise, two O's. Is it Onion? Is it Union? It'll tell us if there's two O's. And over here, we don't need the double O, but what we need is the O in the third spot, because it's either... Uh, 
Oh no, they both have a th oh in the third spot. That doesn't actually help. I was gonna say it helps because it, Viola has the O in the third, but so does Ioli. Uh, hmm. Well, it at least disambiguates these other two. And it and either one does a double letter, clock or flood. But a double O is probably I don't know. I don't know if, you, if double O is better than a double C. A double O is only better because it helps us with these other two words. Um, I mean, we've got, we basically got four 50-50s or worse, and there could be another possibility I'm not thinking of, but, uh, I'm thinking of two possibilities on each of them. So, this one, if we do flood, will at least disambiguate those two. So we'll end up with two 50-50s instead of four, I guess. Um... Yeah, I don't know what else to do, so we're just gonna have to go for it. Our, our starting words were not very good, so... Is it flood? I hope it's Flood. Don't be Clock, be Flood. Oh, it's Flood! Alright! There we go. Okay, we got the double O over here, so this is Soothe. Or Sooth, however you want to pronounce that. And now I need to adjust the screen a little bit so you can see my final guesses. There we go, and, uh, okay, this does not have the double O, so this is Union. Uh, yeah, Union, I think. Union, okay, and now we just have one 50-50 left. So, it could be Viola. Now, is there anything that tells us it's not Viola? We have the I-O-L. Did we guess a V anywhere? No. Did we guess an A at the end anywhere? No. Okay. So there's nothing that says it can't be that. Now, Ioli is also possible, I think. We've got the I-O-L. Is there anywhere we guessed an A at the beginning? No. Did we guess an I at the end? No. Now the other thing to look for is a double I, right? I don't think we guessed a double I anywhere. Nope. So... So I think they're both equally likely. Um, Alright, well, I mean, either one works. There's no real reason to guess one or the other, so I'm just gonna go with Ioli, because I've got it typed in there. Hopefully it's right. Oh, it was Viola. It was Viola! Oh, I thought too much. See, sometimes thinking too much can be bad, because... Viola was the first one I thought of, and then when I thought about it some more, I came up with Ioli. I should have just stuck with the first one I thought of. <sighs> Viola. Alright, well, really close. I think I did pretty good considering I had several 50-50s in there. Um, yeah, I got lucky with Flood, which gave me Sooth and Union. Uh, definitely Geese and Seas hurt me a lot. Those That was the biggest thing. Um, I think I would have been all right if I started with, uh, you know, normal, even even train and cough probably would have been a good start, um, or a three-word start. Flute, Karen, and Show. We would have well, flute would have been. I mean, flood. We would have had the use. Um, yeah, so flute, Karen, and Show. We would have been good. So, anyways, it doesn't matter. Really close. Uh, I feel pretty good about that. So that was today's Dortal, Cordal, and Octordal. So let me know how all of these went for you. And be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Here's an interesting question. Which song has spent the most time at number two on the Billboard Top 100? Without oh, okay. making it oh, to number one. that was really one. good. On the left. Awesome. Ballet over here. Okay, it is L and T, just like I was thinking. Now, Alf Alphabet. Alphabet. There we go. That's a good one.